This isn't just black and white. In Dune 2, they shot this entire planet infrared, and I want to replicate that same look on a budget. To shoot these scenes, they used a modified Arri Alexa LF that was able to shoot in infrared. But honestly, this is not going to be my budget. So I thought, I already have a couple cameras, maybe I can just modify one of my own to shoot in infrared. Is it reversible? But the article I was reading was mentioning something about filters. It turns out they do sell infrared filters. But wait, there's a lot of different types of infrared filters. Infrared filters are measured in nanometers, which is just based on the wavelength of infrared light. And the bigger the number, the more in terms of only letting infrared light through. Looks like I need to find a middle ground on which one's gonna work best. Unfortunately, it seems that everyone on YouTube is only talking about infrared filters for photography, not videography. I did find one channel that actually only talks about infrared, so I'm gonna leave that linked in the description below, but that guy is Rob Shea. One thing that Rob taught me was that using these infrared filters, the stronger the strength you get, the less light you're actually letting through. So they almost act like an ND filter. But if you have a modified camera that sees an infrared, it's actually going to let way more light in so you can get better images. Which honestly explains why they modified the Arri Alexa to shoot infrared rather than just slapping a filter on. So this really discouraged me because I could spend $100 or less and get a filter, but then I wouldn't be able to get the video I want. Or I could spend a couple hundred dollars and get my camera modified, but not be able to actually reverse the process and only have an infrared camera. It seems like a lot of people get the 720 nanometer filter, which takes away about 10 stops of light. I decided to go with the 680 nanometers. That way it's still pretty close to letting around the same amount of infrared light in, but also it'd be a little bit brighter than the 720 nanometers. That way I'm not underexposing too much. The filter I decided with was the Zomi brand. Uh, this one was like 30 bucks on AliExpress. There are other brands out there that make a little bit higher quality filters but those are gonna run you a little over $100. But now it's time to see if I can get that Dune 2 look on a $30 filter. $30 versus a $100,000 modified camera. What do you guys think? This infrared filter amazed me. I was honestly really skeptical, a little bit nervous putting it on because of how dark of an image it was, but I ended up using my 50 millimeter f1.4 so I could let in a lot of light. I did have to crank my ISO up to 4000, which luckily it's still a clean image on the Lumix S5. One of the biggest challenges though was shooting indoors. With just the ambient light of the sunset going down and no other lights turned on, I still had to put the ISO on this thing up to 51,200 which is its max. I will say it's a little bit of a different story if you have the ability to blast a lot of light inside, but honestly if you're not using infrared lighting it's not really going to illuminate the subject that much. A weird thing about using the IR filter is that if you want to get correct white balance you need to set the white balance to grass that's being lit from direct sunlight. I don't know why but this actually gave a really good image. It looks more like those night vision cameras versus being red right when you put the filter on. But if you want more budget filmmaking tips and tricks, check out this video popping up right here. 